Hello class, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with um, Bayern Munich coach Julian Nagelsmann who in a recent interview claims that Bundesliga duo um, Musiala and of course um, Jude Bellingham were more deserving of the Copa Trophy than Pablo Gavi. Of course, Pablo Gavi was awarded the best young player for under 21 in the wall in the Ballon d'Or ceremony yesterday and Nagelsmann did not agree with that. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then to conclude this episode, we talk about Antoine Griezmann as it has been reported at Barcelona as set for 125 million euro boost in wage bill following sale of Antoine Griezmann. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, give the video a like and please watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Barcelona had no shortage of representation during last night's Ballon d'Or Gala in Paris, Why Alessia Puteas became the first woman to secure back-to-back -back Ballon d'Or awards Robert Lewandowski won the inaugural Gerd Muller Trophy. However, the most controversial decision on the night saw Gavi winning the Copa Trophy ahead of the likes of Jude Bellingham, Yama Musiala and Eduardo Camavinga, among many others. In a recent interview, Bayern Munich coach Julian Nagelsmann offered his thoughts on Gavi's triumph, suggesting that the Barcelona youngster should not have won the award ahead of players such as Bellingham and Musiala, he said. Copa Trophy? Yama, Musiala and Jude Bellingham have a better season than the winner. From my point of view, the two are ahead of Gavi, said Nagelsmann. Bellingham is regarded as one of the best young midfielders in world football, following his consistent performances in the Bundesliga and the English national team. Musiala too is another Bundesliga-based talent who has enjoyed a rapid rise to prominence in recent years. However, France football awarded Gavi the prestigious Copa Trophy for his breakthrough at Barcelona. The young star at the age of 17 has already featured in over 50 competitive matches and is even considered ahead of Frankie de Jong and Frankie is here in the pecking order. Despite backing Bellingham and Musiala to win, Nagelsmann hit no praises for Gavi as well, adding that Gavi is a great football player with a lot of talent, I wouldn't say it was undeserved because he has an extremely winning mentality for his age. Nagelsmann comments, of course, come just one more than one week or more than a week before Bayern Munich are slated to Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League. It promised to, to be an exciting contest, no doubt, with Gavi likely to be pitting against the equally talented Musiala. Among all the awards that were handed yesterday, the one given to Gavi brought a lot of talk, a lot of controversy, some people disagreed about it, not just Nagelsmann, but I've come across a lot of people who told me that, look, I don't think Gavi was the one to take that award. I think Jude Bellingham or whatever, Musiala. Um, everybody have their own opinion, you know, everybody is, is subjected to their own opinion. Um, it was great to see our Gavi, another Barca star, after Pedri just won it last year, seeing Gavi taking it this year is just something to be amazed, being Barcelona fans, how Barcelona have a, a future secured. We have a future in our hands with young talents, of course, winning best players in the world back to back. It's not easy. I think it's the first time that that has ever happened in the history of football, in the history of the Ballon d'Or, let me say so, that, you know, back to back years players from the same team win the best young player it, it really you rarely see that you know so despite everything Gavi still is the best the best young player according to the Ballon d'Or award yesterday um everybody as I said everybody is subjected to their opinions I won't say anything about it but I think Gavi had a great season last time out um people should not just think about the goals whatever Gavi must not score to become the best midfielder um, I think the world is so um, obsessed with midfielders that have some goals in your game, which definitely must not be the case that you are a midfielder and you score makes you better than a midfielder who does not score. That's, not, that's nonsense to me, honestly speaking. Um, it's great to see Gavi winning it again and hopefully 
um, we have many more young stars in the future who can help maybe who knows if Bade continues in this vein of form um, it can also he can also have an advantage or being in the nominations very likely next year so it will be great to see you know Gavi to perf increase in his quality I think this season he has not been that sharp but I think gradually he'll be back to his very best so one thing that we can smile about is the fact that our young stars are are there we'll, and we can smile about the future because those guys the more they get mature they know many things there are many things that they learn especially with some of the veterans in the squad so we have a very bright future at FC Barcelona especially in the midfield department the likes of Pedri Gavi is something to admire a lot then moving on to the next story of discussion Barcelona had done an excellent job in the summer transfer market Acquiring several players that covered gaping holes in their team, Robert Lewandowski replaced Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as the striker, while Rafinha, Jules Koundé and others upgraded their respective positions. However, they found it difficult to offload their own players at suitable prices. The biggest problem of them all was Antoine Griezmann's sale, which seemed stuck for several months in a row before the two parties agreed to lower the price to 20 million euros instead of 40 million euros. Why Barca have been forced to cut their losses and compromise on another potential 20 million euros, they have received a huge boost in their wage bill. According to Marca, Griezmann's sale means that the club have saved nearly 125 million euros in salary from the three remaining seasons on the Frenchman's contract. Barcelona paid 35 million euros per year to the player for his first two seasons in Catalonia but have not paid anything to him since he moved to Atletico last season on loan. Moreover, this frees up a ton of space in Barcelona's salary cap for the 2023-24 season. The report says that part, apart from the 35 million euros annual wages, Griezmann was due another 23 million euros. This gives them a free room of nearly 60 million euros for the 2023-24 season. The wage bill, therefore, would be above 650 million euros for next season. Managing to close to this operation before the World Cup also means Barca have not risked Griezmann's form in the tournament. A poor performance through the campaign could have cost them another fair few millions in transfer fees. So Griezmann is no more a Barca player, but fully an Atletico Madrid player. So despite the fact that you know Barcelona sold him for just 20 million, of course it's something to be surprised about after we bought him for more than 120 million from the very Atletico, selling him for just 20 million. But when we look at things critically here, guys, I think we have still done well because Barcelona never wanted to prolong this matter because it was clear that Atletico never wanted to pay the 40 million euros that was agreed in his clause in the loan. And Barcelona thought it wise that, look, if we can sell this guy now, he, he still has three years on his contract at Barca. If we can sell him and, you know, definitely his wages are off the books for good, Barca will save a lot. Just imagine how much Barca could have paid for the three years if Griezmann could have stayed. So it's still something really, really huge worth of savings for Barcelona helps financially as well. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.